Hey guys, we will I hack here here and I'm showing you my first or my second video and this video is gonna be on how to add games onto your USB and where to download them from plus where to get apps for your um for your homebrew channel. So here this is the website I use gametorrents.com. You probably have to translate it from Spanish to English. Um depending on where you live, doesn't matter. And yeah, they've got a range of games, new ones of course. When you go it's going to Wii and it comes up with all the games. They're pretty good. Uh I use them as you see here. Downloading a few and getting Kirby's, Return to Dreamland, Larry Sport Mix and Need for speed the run. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm gonna do here so how to get the first thing first of all I'm gonna show you how to get um apps for your homebrew channel on your using your SD card. So what we wanna do is have your SD card inserted into your computer using a either a USB uh, SD card adapter to get it in or just using the holder All right. so here you can see I've got a couple of things here um, and links in the description for all my files which you're gonna need to download off and it's free of course cause it's from med media file and it was basically how just gonna be how to install a USB loader and run it <laughs> so first of all if you want to get apps um, I would recommend you going to this website we brew dot org and then here, just go to down here, go to applications, and there's games, emulators, homebrew loaders, system tools, PC utilities, and demos. Or you can go on all of them. But the main ones that you would probably need would be these system system tools because they have all different things like the um, save game editors and everything but if you don't have any of those if you don't want any of them from there you can just get the um, homebrew homebrew browser and download that put it on and you'll be able to get all these from there but it will take a bit longer to download of course but it will be on there so you see there's loads and loads of games, not that big, I've seen the biggest ones but 100 megabytes that I've seen, I don't know, there might be big ones, but yeah. So on to the next part of my video, here I'm going to show you how to get the home, the USB loader GX on your Wii menu and running up with all the games that work. So what you want to do is go to your computer go to your SD card and then just uh, all the files uh, that are in the download just put them all in here and then you're mainly done for the computer and if you want a save game uh, manager GX what you'll need to do uh, create a save game folder or something do the save games and then just put them in there so it's easy to find stuff like that. Now for the game what you need to get is this program WBFS Manager. So I'm just gonna go get that now. So yeah, so what you want to do is open that up, once you have it, 
I need to go to sleep. For the first time, when you haven't, when you've just put in your memory, your USB stick, what you need to do is you go to your computer and format it. So just click on it, format it, then go off it, go to computer, right click, manage. And then go to disk management. So yes, blow it up. Um, yes, yeah, so you'll get your disk. Just make sure you know which one it is. And then I have to do rename it. So you do is just go to format, and you rename it to whatever you want, and do you want need to do. And so I'm just gonna. And then you need to load it on here make sure you have the right drive then you need to format it on WBFS manager then load it but I've already done it so I've got these three games here and I've got them all from uh, games gametorrents.com uh, it's very good and it's a good website to use actually I've only got a 4 gigabyte memory stick um, I've got 1.5 gigabyte free space so if you're gonna put games on what you'll need to do is go browse and here you have your file so I'm just gonna go to my get already and then you, what you need to do is select all of these and extract them here if they're in a win RAR files if sometimes you're lucky and you're only just one, you just extract where it is, or they're in a folder, which is better. And what you do is then you'll come with an ISO file here. And what you want to do is open that. And what we'll do is bring it here. And now you see that it says the ISO size is actually 4 gigabytes and over, but the actual size of the game is only 0 0.55 gigabytes. So yeah, so that's what you need to do, and then uh, that's it. That's you're done with the computer. So now I'm gonna go and head on over to uh, the Wii. Hey guys, uh, now you want to load up your Homebrew channel on your console. Take it, so, now on here, what you want to do is go caught until you find iOS 236 installer dash uninstaller. And just load that up. now we'll just do some patches then press 1 or Y to continue sorry about that then press A to install so we'll just install all the ISO files onto your Nintendo into your Nintendo Wii then just press any button to exit now what you need to do is go across until you get to this file 
um, it is C I O S X Rev twenty B installer. Just load up, and this is what you need to do. Oh, oops, sorry. Right, load up, and now what you want to do is change this ISO so it's. I iOS two six two three six and this to two iOS fifty six iOS two four nine and we SD slot ward installation just load up the files in there and you skip the installation so here you go any buttons are controlled. Now you want to do it again, but put this to, um, I can't remember what it is, but version 1.4.1.2.3. Then do the same thing. And put this one to 50 when you're doing the place. So war installation SD slot and install it let's wait this one doesn't take as long as the other one as you see here this one's quite quick uh guy i'm sorry for the really long video but in the first part or oh, so first part of this video i was demonstrating how to get the apps and uh, how to put the I like getting them, which I was going to do two different videos, but I decided to do them one. So here you go. So any button to continue. Press the B button to restart your Wii. Now, go across until you find this file called WAD. So WAD Manager. It should have a tick and a cross at the end. For the title with like a Wii menu system, so it'll look like this, and you just press yes. iOS for two four six two four nine SD card slot or Wii SD slot, and then go down to your ward. Now what you want to do is find USB loader forward there. It should have something in between, but I can't remember what it's called. And but I will be installing that. I'll be installing something else called Cover Folder, which is exactly the same, but just has a little difference to it. But I wouldn't. It doesn't work on my console. It might work on yours. So any button to continue, then press B and press the Home button again. So you start the Wii to the Home menu. And now what you want to do is home. 